Hello, welcome to Double Talk. I'm Mark Steffen. I'm Michael Mandel, and uh, nobody here had a knee replacement, but this is called the knee replacement show because of somebody in the audience got a knee replacement. So I'm making up this drink made out of things that uh, just reminded me of a knee replacement. Oh, gonna, I see. Yeah, we're going to start with gunpowder tea because a gun is made tea? out of met- well, gunpowder Irish gin made with gunpowder tea. Hmm. Hmm. I know. It's Irish, and it's many people out there have had gunpowder tea. Well, you know, I, I was in oh, man. Sprouts the other day, mm. and, and they, they had these uh, fruit drinks that had charcoal in them. Did you see those? Charcoal. Oh, because it cleans you I was out. afraid to, to get it. I shouldn't have been, but because I usually get new stuff, but I didn't get this. I mean, it felt strange. I, I would too, but charcoal's good. No. Flammable? <laughs> well, talk about gunpowder. Well, gin is flammable as it is. Yes, it is. And we're going to have that. And uh, you know, I just—I did have eye surgery, um, not knee surgery. I had eye surgery on Tuesday. And uh, well, I'll make a drink for your eye next week. Okay. Yes. I'll keep an eye out for well, it. Well, this is Irish. Irish. That's right. Yes. Close enough. And this is cream de violet. The violet. Cream de violet for the guy who had the knee surgery's yes. wife. Well, I would like to thank Dr. Hernandez for doing uh, such oh. a good job on my eye. Uh, it was cataract surgery, and, uh, and uh, now seems... he can float down the river without getting crashing into those cataracts. Yeah, that's right. Uh, well, oh, I wonder. Does his eye look a little red? I wanted to link the cat. I the, wanted to link. I got a cataract instead. <laughs> and, uh, so you know, while you do that, I, I heard today that we have a new roller rink in town. Oh yeah, keep going. It's one of the best kept secrets in town. It's called the Spot. It's over there on the corner of Main Street and Picacho. Over there where the Harbor Freight uh, store is, and, and there, there used to be a, used to be an oil change stop uh, place there. And no, we think they, it's they, on the they other side. Away. We already decided in our discussion that it's on the west side, where the which is where store. the cowboy, where the old uh, nightclub used to be. Yes. Really old time. Back in the So this 90s. is Salerno. Can you, what, oh, or you got, what is Salerno? Salerno is a blood orange liqueur made by the same people who make Hendrix, and they make... Uh, they make uh, Canton, and they make... Uh, Is it like other orange liqueurs, you think? No, it's blood orange. Yes. For this operation. He need, you know, um. and, yes. And uh, what were you going to talk about? You were going to talk about dry? And this I'm, is Coqui Americano, which Americano. just is to blend the other two things they have in here. And uh, We've had Coqui Americano on the shuttle before. Coqui Americano is the modern-day... Substitute for Lillet. Those of you who use Lillet a lot. And who doesn't? I know. That's why there's none left. <laughs> you know, it takes them years to grow Lillets. Well, it's hard enough to find in stores. The only place I found it is in Specs in Specs. El Paso. Well, a lot of things we use here are only found in El Paso. That's true. Well, but we're, we, we're such, we're such snobs. But, I mean, it's fun to do things that are different. Remember, I'll let you know. My wife loves now gunpowder gun gin. gin. You don't get that in town, do you? Yes. You do? Yes, you can get it at uh, Kelly Kelly's. Kelly's. Uh, I knew it. Yeah. Kelly's getting all sorts of things. Not that we're advertising for Kelly's, but we could. We gave him the option and he he, he blew it. We gave him the option? Yes, I talked to him oh, several times him? about it. And See, he just wasn't interested. They don't have, this is uh, the famous uh, Roth and Winter uh, Cream de Violette, which is far better than the usual Drillot Cream de Violette made in France. It's much more sturdy. We'll find out in a second. We will. Would you Mark wanted to taste these before the show, but you know, this show is like really live. It's not, it's not. It's called doing your homework, Michael. It's not time tested recipes. I'm not standing at home drinking. We're doing here. We're tasting here. Exactly what before we're doing. Before the show. Exactly what we're doing. All right. Then we won't be able to do the show. First time live, you're going to see us drinking this drink. The, Never the, been drunk before. The knee replacement. Michael made this drink up. If it works, uh, it works. If it doesn't, we'll have to make a new one up for your eye. And oh, uh, looks great. Try that. Boy, first. it doesn't look orange at all, does it? No, let's uh, just taste it in case we have to remix it. <laughs> well, let's, let's see. Hmm. It smells pretty good. Well, hmm. it is pretty good. So. It is pretty good. What's the overwhelming flavor that you're getting? I think the gin, actually. Well, the gin tastes a little bit of the violet. It's airy in the background, gives it a little bit of the blue nose. Got a little bit of that orange. I think it mixes nicely. You want it's me not to, bad. Why don't you put anything else in? Let's finish this and try something else, a different concoction. Oh, do, uh, should we do that? Let's try it. 
try that. I got the break. Maybe we can mix it up a little bit or leave something out. Because we're like that. You know, you hit a drink. Uh, uh, Drinks are our favorite topic on this show. So, hope you're feeling better, Ron, with your replacement. Knee replacement. We'll serve this to you. Mm. He got his knee replaced. I got my lens replaced. Mm. This is good. It's just... Okay. I right. think the gunpowder tea makes it all come to, these three flavors come together. Copyright that drink. Can you do that? Yeah, I could. I'm copywriting this. Copyright. Uh, Trademark it. 2018. Uh, okay. It'd be good with maybe a, looks out a maraschino cherry in it. Hmm. If you mm -hmm. want to make it a girly drink, yeah. You know, that's sexist. No. Mm, yeah, it is. Anyway, uh, Mark has news. I'll just sit back and drink. I have oh. news. He, yeah, because Mark is a total political animal and he just wants to talk politics all day. And that's why he's going to avoid the entire letter in the New York Times because he does, since it didn't have an author, apparently. The anonymous letter in the New York yes, Times? Yes, I would too if uh, I knew who my enemies were. Yes, um, right. Remember that book that was written by Anonymous? Yeah, about the, the Clintons? Yeah, I remember the book that was you know, written by well-known people <laughs> that just came out? Yeah, like, yeah, John McCain had a book out. Uh, and, and now, Anyhow, um, in this town... Woodward's got a book out now. Of course, we have uh, voting coming up like everybody else around the nation. And uh, I remember when we used to be able to do a straight party vote. And since I'm straight and I like parties, yes. I vote for that. Now, what about the gay party voting? Do they have such a thing? You can do that Why because... Not? Is, that, is that discrimination? Not no, that. no. Gays can do everything now. Mm. It's legal. So they can do the Gays straight party vote. Gays can do straight party voting. Yes, they could. They'll go either way, is yeah. what you're saying. Yeah, they could. Well, straight par party voting is something that a lot of people don't want. Um, Wait. It no, shouldn't be the only way to vote. Not a lot of people. A lot of people who think that it uh, limits people's standing there saying, oh, do I want a Democrat or a Republican? Oh, do I want a Democrat or a Republican? Well, that's for people who don't all, know what they want. Are all my, are my, are all my friends Republicans except one Democrat friend? I mean... Well, a lot of people base their voting on the party because they understand what each party represents. Well, if you want to just go pure partisan voting, then then the straight party voting is the way is, is your ticket. It's easier. Uh, some Look, people they like got to your party off. there. See the fourth one down. Uh, the, I don't see it's the under the Libertarian Party. I see. Yeah. So I think if you want the option to do that, that's great. Of course, that's not the only way to vote. No, no, you can vote. I mean, that gives you an easy way to do if it. If you want to get in and out fast, you click one and you're done voting. But you're not actually done voting because many of the things to vote for, like obligation initiatives. bonds, initiatives, yes. judges, you have to vote for anyway. You don't want to spend all day voting when you know that you're going in a certain direction. Once you've made your decision in life. Yes, and that's the course. You can do that. People who've done their research and know what they want in a candidate, straight party voting might work for you. And or it might not work for you if you know what you want and say somebody true. in a different party. Depends on how you do your research. If you do your research by asking people at a bar who you should vote for, or, or if that you might your, be good. Or if your husband tells you how to vote, then yeah. Well, then you got it. Um, you know, you might as well just uh, put a wig on him and give him your ID and send him in and vote for you. Right. Is that what you do? So I only get to vote in a general election, Michael. You know that. That's a general election. You get yes, to vote is. for the general. I do. We should vote for generals. And uh, so, oh, so you know, over there in Hobbs, you've heard about the weeping. The weeping, weeping Virgin snatch. Mary statue. Yeah, it's it, made out of what? Copper? It, it cries off and on. No, well, it's hollow inside. Uh, it, oh. And and. Um, Do they have a lot of rain recently? <laughs> no, they've analyzed what the tears are. It's an oil, it's isn't an oily, it? It's the thing they use in baptisms. Scented oil. Somebody's like, yeah. But you notice the thing? It started crying again. It, it, in fact, it didn't start crying until after Trump became president. After it started crying. Yeah. Indeed. And then recently it started because he's so close to not being. And so uh, nobody knows why or how it's happening. Uh, it seems to me, does it continue to produce uh, liquid while you're standing there watching it? Or is it just oily? I've just seen they photographs. They don't really explain. I've never seen does footage it a constant of flow crying. because you could just dab your finger on there with a little bit of oil. Well, you know, it could be a prank of some sort. You think? <laughs> you think the bishop or, went and looked or, at it, or do you think God is doing it? They looked. You in, it's hollow, you know. They looked inside it to see that there were pipes or something that with the hole. It is copper. It, out. it is copper, so and uh, they have a pipe. They claim they that'd don't be a great them. idea too. One eye, one eye, or both eyes. I think it's just the left just eye. The same one you just got operated on. That's true. Maybe it's starting to maybe, tear for maybe you. Maybe it's got a cataract. Oh. 
oh, maybe we should t get it to the doctor. Because I was tearing up. Yeah. You know, you want to hear how much. So aren't you glad we had a good religious uh, uh, discussion about that? <laughs> it's about as religious as this show gets. Yeah, hey, and, um, there's something about, uh, oh, they're planning uh, farewell events for uh, Bishop Oscar Cantu because he's leaving. He's going to California. Yes. Not because he got in trouble, allegedly. No. Not like other people who do that, but yeah, he, he's no. doing that. Now, Hobbs is over there on the eastern part of the state. And also on the eastern part of the state is a town called Carlsbad. What? Now, yeah. Now, what if they gave a parade and nobody came? Well, that's what happened they in Carlsbad. Did. They were organizing a Labor Day parade there. And uh, the only entrants who showed up to be in the parade were the fire department and the police department. Who else do you need? Yeah, they brought a couple of fire engines, an old one and a new nobody, one. Uh, is that because nobody knew what was going on? Nobody was interested. Well. It was a Labor Day weekend, homecoming, and things were going on. And uh, nobody showed up to be in it. Nobody showed up to watch it. Parades are an interesting phenomenon. I mean, the fact that you can get people to stand on a road and watch things for like by. three hours for a half-hour parade. Yeah, and well, they just had we a do that in, Fourth in of this July town. parade as it was. Yeah, we do good. Well, and we do uh, pretty good parades. We've been. I've been in those parades. They're really no. good. You know, it's better than a parade. Going on, going to New Orleans and walking through the streets with a group and throwing out necklaces. Necklaces. That, that is fun. So do that. Mardi Gras is coming up. You could do it anytime. Go to the pirate convention. Mardi Gras is not coming up for another five, six months. In March. Everything's coming up. You know, now that September is here, it's coming up. If it's before next Memorial Day, it's coming up. Labor Day. No, Memorial Day because... That's in May. Yeah, after Memorial Day, then everything's over. Then you got to wait for Labor Day. Now that Labor Day is here, everything's coming up. Oh, okay. Nothing comes up in uh, summer except crops. Who needs them? Yeah. It's green chili. Right. Yes. Now you know the animal shelter here in Las Cruces it claims that they they stopped taking in stray dogs. They're having a distemper uh, problem up there at the shelter right now. So if you're a stray dog, I guess you're on your own. They're saying oh, that you are on your own because you're a stray dog. They, can't ex they say they can't accept stray dogs, but although our producer's dog got free and they accepted it no, th this week. Wow. So, I don't know, but... Um, this week? Animal control officers... Is, are this, not, is are that not what we're calling it? This week? This week? Because they have distemper? Yes. And um, so they say if you, if you come across a stray dog and can hold on to it yourself for a while, that's good. Or if you can find somebody else who can take the dog, some other shelter. Well, what you could a do no is... A no-kill shelter? You could, do, you could bring it to Carlsbad and uh, have a parade with it. A doggy parade. A dog parade, all the stray dogs. Oh, aren't they cute? Right. Anyway. And they all have distemper. Well, give them a shot or something. Oh, look, it's going on. Come so, on. Um, hey, you know. After Animal Shelter, what's the promise of, is that a new play or something? That's a play. You're so connected it's to. It's a brand new play. It's gonna be uh, appearing um, this Saturday and next weekend at the Isabel, Isabel Crouch Reader's Theater. Oh, so it is brand new. Is, brand it's new. A, is this a reader's thing? I don't know if thing? they're... Well... Are they, did they memorize the lines? Are they going to stand there like uh, no, the beloved Dick theater. Wendell? Let's hope it's not. Um, oh, where'd you find out about this? It was in today's paper. It was in Thursday's paper. Thursday's paper? Yes. You keep papers that long? It's yes. Saturday now, isn't it? It is. No. Oh. And... Uh, well, that's good because the students right are back, so they're starting to do some theater. We've seen a lot of things there. Uh, there, there's been some yeah. good stuff. It's a nice place. I've done things in there. Yeah. So, so that's coming up. And uh, Heidi Betts. Remember her? No. Me neither. I guess she wrote it. Oh, we were in, uh, as you know, Los Angeles this weekend. Yes. And we saw Sweat, which uh, won two enemies in New York. Two what? Tonys? Uh, Tonys? Tonys. Tonys. Won something. Antoinette Perry. Him. So we need to take a break. Oh, and, we will. Uh, oh, and I'll tell you all about it. And it was your daughter's birthday, wasn't it? No, that was like uh, two weeks ago. Oh, well, okay. We just visited her. Well, yeah. we'll be right back after this. <laughs> yeah. Or that. Everyone is having a sale 
but there is only one sale that gives you wholesale prices and clearance savings on quality merchandise. It's the Club Store Outlet in Las Cruces. It's merchandise from stores like Walmart, Target, Sears, Sam's Club, and Costco. But there is no membership fee, and the prices are for the wholesale and up to 95% off the retail. Indoor and outdoor furniture, quality rugs, housewares, small appliances, bed and bath, non-perishables. We're open seven days a week. Come in today and see what you can find. 910 North Telshore, next to Outback Restaurant. Buy more, save more. See you there. Mark Goldstein, the safe money guy, at 575-556-2472, to learn about innovative strategies now available to help you grow, protect, and preserve your money and financial future, regardless of market conditions. Horizon Granite is here. We'll come to you to customize your kitchen and bathroom with beautiful countertops and cabinets. Find out more at horizongranite.com. Call us at 575-650-3180. Horizon Granite is here. It's here. Make yourself a beautiful home. Come to Tacos El Borrego de Oro in Las Cruces. We are celebrating $1 Taco Tuesdays. Come enjoy authentic Mexican food for the whole family. Bring the family to Tacos El Borrego for $1 Taco Tuesday and Flauta Thursday. This is Channel. And we are making your second drink. Your second drink. My second drink. This is the same thing, except uh, we're keeping out the cream de violette. We think that... Uh, uh, why Ra complicate Ra things? Ron needs some privacy, so we'll keep Violet out of this. Okay. And there's tons of ice in here, so I'm going to be shaking for the next 40 minutes. You just keep talking, Mark. Just I, I thought you, your eye. And, I thought and you tell conquered me. that uh, Parkinson's. No. This helps it. <laughs> this helps it. Yeah. Gives me gives it something to do with it. it. Might as well use it. Might use, as well. Use, use your infirmities. Look on the bright side of life. Yeah. Is that about 20 seconds? Now, yeah, I think yeah. so. No. And, uh, you know, another thing that's, where there's a lot of shaking, rattling, rolling is at the uh, roller derby. Club store. The club there's store, the club store. is rocking and rolling. 60% off everything right now. Right. Right now. Everything in the store is 60% off. Which is Because they're going out of business. And that's actually 60% off discount prices. So, so you're really saving you maybe know. up to 95% in some cases. Now, if you have trouble with math, call us up. We'll tell you how much uh, <laughs> stuff is. If it's ten dollars, how much would that be then? If you take sixty percent off, $4. Can, you, can you figure it out? Okay. Now, um, they have Taco Tuesday that. there every night. They're open till eight o'clock on Taco Tuesday. You can buy tacos there off the truck. Fifty cent tacos, and uh, and then go bring to your the store. own cocktails. I think go to the store and and pay sixty percent off of everything. Or actually not pay 60%. Well, pay whatever it is after you take 60% right. off. That's what I meant to say. So, if you don't know math, buy yourself a calculator. Because the there's 60% off That's the right. calculators there. And they can stand there and figure out. Taste this. I like this. This is lighter. Oh. It, it's, uh, could, could use a little cream to be all that. Hmm. That's probably the way it is, though. Yeah, it is. It's pretty good. Yeah. Okay. Good. Well. Even a squeeze of lime, a lime wouldn't hurt it. How about a squeeze of banana? We're sitting here with the, <laughs> yeah. what are these we have bananas sitting out front here because the, the monkey show is on afterwards. Mm, okay. Isn't it? I don't it's know. It's certainly not this one. No, no. These monkeys are well fed. Yeah, so. <laughs> so? So rattling, rolling, and Did you hurt yourself just falling now? down, no. The roller derby is on this weekend, oh, Saturday okay. at 8 o'clock, 1600 East Hadley over there at the Mearside Center. Girl, uh, girls in skates and hot pants. 
and they're that a tough mobbers too. What was the time of that? What time? Eight o'clock. Where? At Hadley. Mearshite Center. Mearshite 1600 Center. Sixteen hundred East Hadley. It's ten dollars at the door. Seven dollars in advance. A lot of good fun. It's pretty good. A lot of tough ladies. They're doing that all because uh, High Holy Days are coming up and they want to get it out of their system. You know, you have to repent. This will give them something to repent about. Knocking into people, pushing them aside, hitting them in the head, smashing a neighbor. pulling their hair, whatever they do. Um, gosh, that sounds like fun. Mm -hmm. Pink Floyd was last night or two nights ago. Ah, oh. Pink Floyd. Did you go? No, I didn't. I didn't either. Did you? Oh, God. No, I, I always resist going to see 75-year-old rockers still doing it. They're not doing it. It's it's the old movie, The Wall. Oh, The Wall. Oh, but no. they're still 75 years old, but The, the Wall was, is an old movie. And the that's Wall is a movie. Yeah. Oh, at the Real Grand Theater? At the Real Grand Theater for eight bucks. I don't care for that movie. Uh, yeah, I don't think it's such a great movie either. I don't either. I think, I think it's overblown and... and uh, it was a uh, takeoff. They they did so much more... Is it self-indulgence? Much better movies. You know, the Pink Floyd papers, remember that? And uh, the comeback of Pink Floyd and... I uh, saw the film Pink Floyd live in, in Pompeii, inside the old amphitheater. Really? I don't know you've been to Italy. Yeah. No, that sounds good. Aren't there things, let's see, so we did Robert, Roller Derby, yeah. Las Cruces Fall, art scene. That's coming up this weekend. You know, that's pretty big. We used to do the Arts Hop or Art Shop. Yes. Which Donano Arts Council sponsored. And they're probably sponsoring this in some way. In some way. I, I should know. Well, there's like six galleries involved, including uh, Glenn Cutter, uh, the University Gallery, Art Obscura, uh, Rococo Gallery. Mm -hmm. Art uh, Obscura. The Four Points Perspective Gallery. Have you been there? Uh, yes. Yeah. Was, that's, uh, it's in Messia. And uh, the Donano Arts and Cultural Center. Did you say Glenn Cutter, too? Did yeah, I, I did Glenn say Cutter. That. Okay. Mm -hmm. And. Um, so, yeah, that's going on this weekend. So, all day Saturday, you can see art at six different if, galleries. If you've never seen any of these galleries, they are fun galleries. Yeah, and the, the work is decent. And yeah. you don't have to be an artist. You know, we had a friend who thinks that if you go to an art opening, you have to buy something. No, you don't. Let me say... Most people don't. You wouldn't go there if you had to buy something. Go there and look. You know, it may not be uh, the thing you want to buy, but that's why there's many galleries. There's some great it's, stuff. Yeah, that it's a visual feast. If it catches your eye, then you'll be just like Mark with his bad eye. And and the university gallery, it's nothing's for sale there anyway. It's students who've done this work. Yeah, now, but you could offer the students money on the side. Now, you know what's also there's going 200 on bucks. today, downtown Saturday, is the Saturday Fiesta at Klein Park. Now, this is Klein Park where nothing's going on. But when you see it, Today, if you go down there between the hours of 4 o'clock and 9 o'clock tonight. Klein Park is probably, what, the second oldest park in town? If not uh, the after, oldest. After, uh, what? Uh, Name an older one. Pioneer Park? Pioneer Park. They, they, no. That's I, pretty old. No, that was made uh, when this became a city. Klein Park was a little yeah, after. And when people moved to Mesquite because they couldn't get the prime location near the railroad. I don't know why that's prime. No, the Mesquite was, was the town first. They laid it out. Oh, and then they moved it out to... Then the rich uh, people moved down in the flood zone. And the, and the people up on Mesquite Street wondered, why do those stupid gringos live in the floodplain? Well, because who wants to wait for the mosquitoes to get you? <laughs> as soon as the mosquito season's here, get it over with. Yeah, so that's going on. Uh, Klein Park today. Is that 4 to 9 o'clock or 4 to 8 o'clock? 4 to 9. 4 to 9. That's a yeah. long time. A lot of things are going on. There'll be food What there. happens when Music. the lights go out? Music. Then you go home. Do, do you think you still have your hubcaps? Uh-huh. You don't know. Now, over at the Farm and Ranch Heritage Museum today also, um, is the Wheels and Gears show. And they're yes. going to have all kinds of vehicles, tractors, and farm implements, and car show. And in the big room, they're going to have all these um, tractors. tractors and things like that. Um, that's uh, from 9 to 4 on Saturday. Today at the Farm and Ranch Heritage Museum. So, yes, it's it's going on now. It'll be going on for another five hours. You can go there and eat too, because there's always food. There's food there. There's also going to be people doing the bicycle BMXing there. All kinds that of sounds like activities. Fun. Yeah, that sounds like fun. So Let's bring go. The kids. Let's go. A lot of kid activities. We could. Can you ride those Longhorn uh, steer if you <laughs> want? You just steer them with their horns. Oh, it's yeah. just like a That's vehicle. That's what they call steers. Yeah, yeah it's steers. Yeah. You steer them. That's going on. Now, uh, coming, coming up uh, in a few days, week. yeah, on the 14th, we got Stephen Stills and Judy, Judy Collins, Collins. Yeah. in a concert together. And interesting, those of you who are our age, 
Uh, know the story, right? Sweet Judy Blue Eyes was obviously about somebody named Judy. Oh, it was Judy Collins. That's Stephen Stills. And Stilzer. here they are back. She looks a little scary, I would say. Uh. That white hair, but he looks like a jolly, you know, baseball coach or something. Well, he's not. I, he I can, he can so. be a badass. I bet they're both badasses. He, but was in, he was in a feud with Elvis Costello, and he did all kinds of mean and nasty things to him. Well, right, I like yeah. Elvis Costello, yeah. too. Well, Stephen Sills was... They never went together. Stephen Sills was a badass in Vietnam War. Was he? Oh, yeah, he's a special forces dude. Is that what he did? Yeah. Before he came back to uh, do uh, Crosby, Stills? Right, right. Actually, was it Crosby, Stills? Yes. Crosby, Stills, and Nash. Nash. And then Neil Young came in later. But he was in Buffalo Springfield before that. Uh, so I don't know when he'd have time to Stephen go. Stephen Seals and, and uh, Nash were both in Buffalo Springfield. Uh, Not Nash. Uh, Young. N Neil, Neil Young, Young and Stephen Seals yes. were in Crosby, Stills I don't know Nash when. I mean, it may Buffalo be right about Stephen Stills that you have this information yeah. that he was in the military. Yeah, in Vietnam War. Uh, oh, what years was that? It's in the 70s. Because Buffalo Springfield 60s. was uh, pretty good. They yeah. were late yeah, Movies in the Park this weekend. Oh, wait, let me just say, how much time wait, we have? Wait a minute. We have Guardians a minute. of the Galaxy, Volume 2, Movies in the Park. The movie starts at dusk. And, yes, so dusk is a good time. It, set your clocks to dusk. Yes. Dusk. Dusk. If you set your clock to dawn, you'll be on time to get there by dusk. Oh, okay. Yeah. Also, want to um, our sympathy. Bemoan the passing of Burt Reynolds, who died uh, Thursday. Just recently. Yeah. I worked with Burt Reynolds for a week on a picture he, he was doing called uh, Best Friends. And uh, he I think great. he left something in your his will. He was too. a great guy to work with. I'll tell you that. Smoking in the Bandit was, he was his, his biggest hit. And uh, he. he he had a lot of big hits. He was the number one movie star for several years in a he row. He had more. He had like four movies out at the same time. Yeah, he since was they've been talking about it all weekend, right? Yeah, yeah. He and he and Clint Eastwood were fired fired from Universal Pictures the same day. They said uh, they fired Burt because he couldn't act, and they and they fired uh, uh, Eastwood because his Adam's apple was too big. <laughs> so they're walking out the gate together, and Burt Reynolds says, "Well, at least I can learn to act." <laughs> So rest in peace, Burt Reynolds. We love and you. And we can't learn to act, so don't worry. We'll see you next week with uh, a new drink, maybe based on who knows who what. Who knows what. Thanks for I watching. I thought this was inspirational. Right here on Double Talk. Cheers. Pretty good. Oh, and so is the rice potato. Another one of our